Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to see how to conduct triangular arbitrage uh, when we are dealing with bid and ask quotes. For that purpose, we have uh, a few uh, quotations available with us. We have this quotation between dollars and yens. We have another one between dollars and pounds. And we also have a third quotation, which is actually only the ask rate between yens and pounds, indicating to us that you can buy uh, one pound with 143 yens. In these two quotations here, my friends, this number here, 0 0.0104, is the bid rate for yen. That is, if you have a yen to sell, you are going to get 0 0.0104 dollars in return. And this number here is the ask rate for yen. That is, if you want to um, buy a yen, you have to spend 0 0.0108 US dollars for it. Likewise, this is the quotation between dollars and pounds, where this number is the bid rate and this number is the ask rate. Now, to go ahead with triangular arbitrage, first of all, we need to find out the cross rate between yens and pounds. And since both yen and pounds are quoted in terms of US dollars, it is going to be very simple to find out a cross rate between them. But then you might wonder why do we need to find out the cross rate because the rate between yens and pounds is already given to us here, 143 yens to a pound. But if you see carefully, this is only the ask rate. Uh, if we also know the bid rate between yens and pounds, then we can find out if there is going to be an arbitrage possibility or not because the ask rate here, which is 143 yens to a pound, tells us that um, you can buy a pound with 143 yens. If we also know the bid rate and, for example, if we find out that um, we can say, for example, the bid rate comes out to be higher than this number, 143, then it is going to be um, beneficial for us to go ahead with the arbitrage process because your buying price would be 143 yens and if you can sell your um, pounds for a better price then of course there is going to be some benefit involved in that. So let us uh, proceed ahead to find out the bid rate between yens and pounds and we have already specified the reason why because we want to find out if there is going to be any gain out of the differential between the buying price and the selling price. So um, we write down our cross rate here, the bid rate, and this is how we calculate it. <clears throat> uh, we uh, write down our first um, quotation here in terms of yens to a dollar, the bid quotation. And then we multiply this with the bid quotation between dollars and pounds. So let us do that very quickly here. Yens to a dollar, we need to find out the bid rate. But when I look at this quotation here, I see that it is uh, quoted in terms of dollars to a yen. But then I can very easily take the reciprocal of the ask rate and find out the bid rate um, that will be quoted in terms of yens per dollar. So let me write down the reciprocal of the ask rate from the original quote. So I'm writing here 0 0.0, uh, 1 over 0 0.0108 and then I'm going to be multiplying that with the bid rate between dollars and pounds this one here and when I look at this quote this is already in terms of dollars to a pound where the bid rate is 1.5670 so I'm going to simply multiply this thing with 1.5670 to get my cross rate which is going to be equal to 145.0926 now the third currency that is the dollar, the dollar in the denominator here and the dollar in the numerator here are going to cancel out and I'm going to have a bid quote between yens and pounds. So let me write that here quickly, yens per pound. So now what you observe is that you can um, buy a pound with 143 yens but then if the cross rate is this, you can very easily sell your pound for 145.0926. And therefore, an arbitrage opportunity might exist and that is going to lead us uh, into step number two where we are going to randomly start with a uh, number and that is going to be $100. You could start with any currency of your choice. I'm starting with $100 and what do we do with these $100? We have um, a choice again. We can start with $100 and we can convert those $100 to pounds first and then convert the pounds to yens and then convert the yens back to dollars. It is important to remember that you have to return back to your starting currency so that you can find out if the amount of uh, if the amount that you end up with is uh, greater or smaller than the amount that you started with. 
So if you are starting with dollars, you must end with dollars. So you could start from dollars, convert them to pounds, then convert your pounds to yens and then convert your yens back to dollars. Or you could start with dollars, convert those dollars to yens, convert the yens then to pounds and then pounds back to dollars. So this is the route randomly uh, that I am taking. I am using my dollars, converting them to yens and then yens to pounds and then I am going to come back to dollars. Let us do that very quickly. It's going to be very, very simple. Now I'm going to start with $100 and what I do with $100 is that I'm converting those dollars to yens. It simply means that I am buying yens with dollars. Let us see what amount of yens I'm going to get with my $100. So I write here $100 and then since I'm now converting my $100 to yens, that is I'm buying the yens, I have to look for a quotation between dollars and yens. So uh, for buying yens, this is the asked rate 0 0.0108 dollars to a yen. And since I'm converting my dollars to yens, that is I'm converting a sum um, from a numerator currency to a denominator currency, I'm going to have to divide. Divide what? The amount that I'm converting and divide by what? By the exchange rate quotation, which is 0 0.0108. And that is going to give me, let me check on my calculator. It is giving me a number that is equal to 9,259.2593 and this is yens. So with my $100, I can buy 9,259.2593 yens and then that is going to leave, uh, that is going to take me to the second step where I convert my yens to pounds. It simply means that I'm buying pounds with my yens and for that again I'm going to need a foreign exchange quotation between yens and pounds. Let us see if I have that. Um, I look at this quotation here and if I'm buying pounds with yens I need to uh, spend 143 yens for a pound. So I'm going to use this to convert my yens to pounds. So I'm going to write here 9259.2593 and then I'm going to divide it by the asked rate 143 and that is going to give me, uh, let me check on my calculator, it's going to give me a number which is 64.7501 um, and this time it is pounds. So now I have 64.7501 pounds with me which I can convert to dollars because I'm going to return back to my uh, starting currency. I started with $100 and that is where I should end also. <clears throat> so I'm going to use my 64.7501 pounds to uh, convert into dollars. Now I'm going to sell my pounds or buy dollars. So for selling pounds, uh, let me see what quotation is available to me. Um, this is the rate between dollars and pounds. So if I'm selling pounds, I get the bid price for my pounds which is 1.5670 and since I'm converting pounds to dollars that is I'm moving from the denominator currency to the numerator currency what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply write down 64.7501 pounds and then I'm going to multiply that by the bid rate which was 1.5670 and this is going to give me, my friends, $101.4634. And you will realize that my starting amount is $100 and my ending amount is $101.4634. That gives me a risk-free arbitrage profit of $1.4634. And that is what it is. I hope it is very simple to understand for you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.